What's up with it, fam? Welcome back to the channel, man. And we have a storm. We had a storm that came through. As you can see, knocked down a lot of tree limbs, branches everywhere. See, I have two of them laying next to the car. And you're probably like, why you have the car inside the tent? Or I don't even think y'all seen the tent. I had the tent for a couple months now. No, the tent is destroyed, bro. I had the car parked under the tent and damn, it left. It left that mark right there, man. So I'm gonna try to put some uh some of the turtle wax polish I have for uh scratches and stuff. I'm gonna try to put that on there and get the little pad for the drill. But the only problem is the little pad for the drill and my turtle wax cleaner is off in the tent. So <laughs> I may have to try to creep through this little hole or either rip it up some more, but yeah. <sighs> my whole entire tent fell. And also it makes no sense for me to go and buy car covers it's like 25 a piece 30 a piece because you know i'm going to need two of them that should give y'all a hint man so y'all stay tuned for the next month new vehicle is finally coming so it makes no sense for me to buy two car covers and a bike cover for the ground plus i like being able to have the ground behind my car stuff like that you know just like having this easier you just let it up pull in you're good man so probably gonna go to harbor freight and buy theirs this one came off of ebay as you can see man the poles bent up on it stuff like that you know once it got a little real so it is what it is man and then i can do about that but i'm gonna loosen this up right here and i can creep through this way and get my supplies out of the tent man so y'all just stay tuned bro Electric ratchet right here. Go ahead and get today started, man. We gotta take these seats out. So I'm gonna go in the house, grab my gator grip socket, and yeah, <laughs> we're gonna get going. Just... All right, fam. So we finally gonna go ahead and leave this gas station. <sighs> Just got gas. But it feels so good to be back on the GoPro, man. Now that I have my computer back working and I can edit again, everything feels so good. As you can see, the passenger seat is out of the car, so no passenger seat. I'm gonna make room when it's time for me to go to uh, Harbor Freight and pick up the tent. Hopefully they have something in stock. I looked online and said the one in Pearl does have them in stock, so yeah. I should be getting another one of these tents. This time it's gonna be the Harbor Freight. The Harbor Freight version, I've been telling people anyway, they look more durable. They really do, because like, it seems like the uh, the tarp part is thicker. Like real thick tarp. But yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get the Harbor Freight version, man. <sighs> but yeah, Blue needs some control alarms. I'm just gonna upgrade all the suspension when I get a new car next month. I'm gonna uh, end up doing new control alarms on Blue. Um, probably gonna put some new ball joints even though I, I have new ball joints. I'm just gonna change everything, man, because I... Blue been struggling. Give Blue a friend in alignment, too. Well, I ain't gonna say she's struggling. Blue still been kicking for the longest. So, yeah, I'm gonna do all that and get it going. <sighs> oh, man, they playing music. Oh, my God. But, like I was gonna say, though, man, See, since I have the passenger seat out, it's real easy for me to go ahead and vacuum and everything. But I have this buffing, this little buffing pad right here. So I got that. Got my swirl remover, a uh, swirl remover, stuff like that, man. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get set up for this wash brush. Add a little corner of this. What is this? Snow foam wash. I have the uh, the Harbor Freight pressure wash at the house. Love it. Foam cannon on that thing is the truth. So I add some of that. And this is why I always have water. Bam, throw that water out in there. Shout out 
Sometimes I, I used to have two. I used to ride around with two of them in my trunk. Just for you know, this reason. But one is good enough. You get one. Get like that. I might as well throw this back in the car. Done with that. Alright. Wheel cleaner. And this is the Black Magic No Scrub All Wheel Cleaner. And I, I used this in the past, and it's good, man. My guy Reggie RT on YouTube, man, up and coming YouTuber himself, just like your guy. So if y'all like those challenges, those charges, y'all go check out Reggie RT, man. Now him and my cousin now coming with hella Hemi, they coming with hella Hemi stuff, man. So y'all check them boys out, but you know me, I'm staying game for life, bro. So I had to let them out. Oh, come on, get up there. I know a lot of people might be like, oh, you probably don't care about blue anymore since you have another car that you plan on, you know, getting, or since you were thinking about building on the Thunderbird. That's false, man. Like I tell people all the time, blue is still gonna get driven the most. Blue is my baby, blue is my daily driver. Blue was my first project car that started it all, so. This car never go anywhere. If anything, if I ever get the feeling like that, I'm gonna make sure I don't get rid of blue. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I do a crazy engine swap on her. To have me just like, oh yeah. Bring back that same love for her. It's out. I forgot where I got this from. I got this from a place called Ollie's, I think. Grateful when you're washing your car, getting off in all these little crevices, man. All these different spokes, so hey, if you want one, you can go to AutoZone. Um, I seen them at Dollar General, I want to say. I even had one out of Dollar Tree one time. But I know for sure you go to AutoZone, you can get it, man. You probably pay like seven, eight dollars AutoZone. And I put on high pressure. It's still spraying that wax out of there. I'm just gonna go around and hit it like that. Get all that soap to move freely. Drying the car off. We're gonna put some of this old Black Magic Tire Wet Spray. This tire shine, some of the best I've used in a long time. So you think it'll come on with that uh, thick foamy white look? Spread on that, bam, it's gonna go in real fast. But hey, it's funny recording with a GoPro, man, because everybody looks at you like, bro, what the fuck is you doing? The fuck is that on your head? You know, some people, they know like, oh, that's a GoPro. It's probably making a YouTube video or something, you know? Some people know that. 
Some people don't. It's cool. It's okay to be different. Just hate when people look at you. Just like, bruh, get the fuck out of my face. Alright. I know a lot of people want me to drop hints and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I may drop a hint. May not. <laughs> I wasn't gonna fully wash my car and stuff, but it had mud all on it. Stuff like that, man. Can't be going out like that. I know that's probably too much or whatever, but man, here's what it is. Yeah, that's way too much. <laughs> now I gotta deal with his ass playing music too. Bam. <laughs> Alright, so I got this little one over here. Real small one right here. So what is it gonna dap? Do you just dap, 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 dap? Hit it with that spongy look. That's how much I was supposed to have. I think this one might be a little deeper than the other one. So. Not really, no. Check that out. You can probably see it a little bit, but barely, man. All right, fam, so we just got done washing blue, and like I said, man, check that out. Scratches and swirls. Those are like watermarks right there, but check that out, man. Even the ones that were down here, remember that? All gone, bro. I even had a small one right here. Where is it? <laughs> Where is it? Okay. So, yeah, you use the scratch and swear remover by uh, Turtle Wax, and that works pretty good. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put everything in the trunk. That way, I have a space for the tent. And we're gonna go ahead and head to Harbor Freight, man. Look at that Mustang GT, man. No, I just missed it because the car's in the way. But yeah, you see it at the stop sign. Mustang GT. <laughs> what is this, a 6 gen right here? No, it's not a 6 gen. Well, I thought it was an SS, but no, it's not. It's an RS. They got an old Camaro right there, man. So we finally pulled up the Harbor Freight. And you know, <laughs> this is the Automotive Guys store. This is the Automotive Guys dream for the sockets, everything you'll need. But I'm going to go ahead and get out the car, go in here, buy this tent. And we finna be back. So let's get it. And I see my boy. All right, fam. So I'm back in the car. And $230 later. Here you go. I got the 10 by 17 portable canopy by Harbor Freight. So, hey. Right. Finally got it. So I bought a tarp to go with it for flooring. Just to, you know, just to cover up that mud. Not for really flooring. Just to cover up that mud, man. Because I get tired of stepping in the mud when I park and this and that, man. So got everything I'm going to need. Go ahead to the house, trying to figure out how the hell I'm gonna get this heavy ass box out the car because that box is heavy. We forced it in here, you know. I'm surprised when you break anything, but we forced the box in here. But gonna go ahead and head back to the crib, try to go ahead and get started putting this up or something. More. So, all right, fam, I'm not done, but I'm done for today. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it's looking like. Don't roast me, but I'm gonna show you the outside first, okay? Bam, <laughs> you can see here, it's the outside. Looking pretty nice from top to bottom. I have a blue tarp, kind of like it's a slight flooring just for when it rains and stuff. You know, like I said, I stay out in the country, man. I stay out in the country, bro. But yeah, I got that blue tarp for like flooring. Let's so come to the front is where it gets ugly. See, it's nice right here. You're like, okay, all right, like a garage, and bam. This is the last thing I had to figure out how to fix. I'm a country boy, but don't even know how to work, you know, these little things. So, gotta figure out how to loosen these up. I'll deal with that tomorrow. Figure out how to loosen it. 
Now I better tighten this up just like I got the back tighten. And then, bam, as you can see, I got the grom. Got this, got the ladder. Got my shelf with all my stuff. The tail lights for the Thunderbird that I had ordered. Lauren Springs for blue. Jack stands, got my ramp right there. I got all this stuff, so. I'm gonna go ahead and just keep everything in here. I'm gonna finish up everything tomorrow. Bam. Pull that down tight. Yeah, so I mean, it's pretty decent. It feels like the same size as the other one. The other one's a 10 by 20. This is a 10 by 17, so it's a little bit shorter. So, nothing too major, man. Nothing too major. So, I'm excited about it, man. Got somewhere where I can park, you know. Now I don't have to worry about, you know, the rain just getting all in there, messing with stuff or whatever. But, yeah. Bam. And I need to get some more anchors, too, to anchor that down a little bit better because, yeah. I... <laughs> Don't want this one to blow up, you know, kind of blow away from me. And then this one, I feel like this one is way more sturdier than, you know, the last one from eBay. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. I hope I'm right. But yeah. Hopefully, man. But, like I said, I need to get some more anchors to anchor down a little more. Get it pretty secure. That'd be good to go. But man, if y'all like this video, man, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think, man. Like I said, y'all stay tuned for the for next month. Y'all stay tuned for all the videos, but next month for sure, because next month is going down. Can't tell y'all when, but just know sometime next month, the new vehicle will be coming inside of this tent. So y'all just stay tuned, man. But like I said, man, y'all like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think. Turn that notification bell on, man. And it's your boy, that's Ali Ray. Oh. Y'all turn that notification bell on, man. Stay tuned with all the videos. Y'all turn the notification bell on, man. Stay tuned with all the videos, man. I'm going to holler at y'all.